We're back. There's some kind of creepy ass, you know, sound effects going on there. Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, let's try to sort all this out. Metal Gear, would you mind helping out? Not at all. Now projecting recorded video images. Gibson calls in and you two immediately head for the abandoned factory in the M District. But when you arrived, Gibson had already been killed by someone or something at the factory. From hair and skin samples recovered from his body, you determined that the perpetrators were two snatchers, one male and one female. In addition, from a floppy disk containing notes from Gibson's investigation, you discovered that snatchers have a crucial defect. Gibson was apparently killed because he had learned about this weak point. And this weak point is a key difference between them and real humans. Their artificial skin cannot tolerate ultraviolet rays. Long-term exposure causes it to become cancerous, a form of melanoma. This severely limits the places and times that they can operate to midwinter, when daylight hours are their shortest, and of course at night. And it looks as if it will take at least six months for them to develop a new skin which overcomes this fault. So their biggest weak point was that they had to keep themselves protected from ultraviolet rays over the past six months. Hmm, Gibson really put his earlier training as a science cop to good use in figuring this one out. And that's why they use plenty of sunscreen, even in the middle of the winter. As a result of this, it becomes clear that there is one thing they must have to continue their survival. Metric shit ton of exposition. And that is medical facilities, where they can treat artificial skin which has become cancerous. And it appears that Gibson may have located a hospital used for this very purpose. Oh, yeah, the look as angry as he does in that one. In an effort right. to determine where Gibson had been investigating, you analyzed his stomach contents, found buffalo meat, and headed to the only place in the city that serves it, Outer Heaven. Isabella Velvet, a dancer at this place, gives you a description, which allows you to put together a montage of the man Gibson was trying to track down. You then ran this montage through the city's data bank, using Jordan. And that gave you two suspects, Ivan Rodriguez <coughs> and Freddie Nielsen. But from the condition of Ivan's skin, you determined that there was no possibility he could be a snatcher. There was no evidence at all of melanoma. But as he was in possession of Liquid Sky, you turned him over to narcotics. Following that, a search of Freddie Nielsen's home turned up large quantities of sunscreen. Nielsen's wife, Lisa Nielsen, turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of her. And you confirm that the skin cells found under Gibson's nails were from Lisa. Freddie Nielsen also turns out to be a snatcher, and you dispose of him as well. The hair sample that was found in Gibson's hand is confirmed as being from Freddie. So you are able to determine that these two snatchers, Freddie and Lisa, were the ones who killed Gibson. Oh, we don't have to see the head explode again. And But then we have a problem. The bounty hunter who saved you, Seed, Random Hajil. An investigation uncovers that the information he provided when he filled out his bounty hunter registration was completely false. So who is this guy? Friend or foe? What about the bank account he was having his bounty deposited into? It was a common account used for paying bounty, and the funds were retransferred from there. We couldn't learn anything from it. Thank you, Metal. And now for the real fun. The hospital that Gibson had tracked down. If we can hit that, we may be able to shut down this snatch operation of theirs. Or if we can find some kind of patient records there, we may be able to find them quite easily. So, Little John's memory might provide us with an important lead. That's right. If we're lucky, there may be something left that we can work with. Navigators record everything their junkers do, just in case. Just in case, huh? Well, this looks like one of those cases. 
Harry should have recovered it by now. Go see how he's doing. Seed, I'm counting on you to find this hospital. Was the bottom of the bottle of cheap scotch last time we saw right. him. Probably would have been done last <coughs> session. To be fair, he was mourning a friend. Still. I will give him that. Oh, that's the engineering that punched the drone. <coughs> Quite literally hit the redhead stepchild. Engineering room, go! About time you got here, Gillian. I've got little John's memory all ready for you. When God, you're sober the best. Well, it'll take like two months for us to get back to this. Now. I'm afraid it was almost completely. The game time doesn't count to real time. Those snatchers, they sure do a thorough job. What do you mean? Wasn't there anything left? Like I said, just relax. I was able to get one video image out of it. I don't have the slightest what this is. But it's definitely got something to do with Sean's investigation. This is it. So, Gillian, do you uh, have any idea what this is? Hospital of Olean? This is almost certainly the snatcher-controlled hospital that Gibson was looking for. You ought to run the name through Jordan, but uh, if that hospital is not legit, the data won't mean anything. This city is packed with unregistered hospitals. The sign in this picture looks curved. This word Olean might continue past the edge of the image. I've stored this image. You can view it at any time. Just use the graphic memory command in the positions menu. Show me. Close my phone. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Oh. Alright. <laughs> I do need to talk right now. I must find snatchers. Well, now we head to uh, Jordan. Or computer room, whatever the fuck it's called. <coughs> computer thought room. Computer. Yeah. We have the number. Oh. Loading, loading, loading. Three nine five six four four. Five, six, four, four. <coughs> God, I forgot how fat he is. Rain. R E I R Wrong rain. R E I O T N. Remember, he's Napoleon. <laughs> and you remember the usual place, right? Yep. Yeah. Onward to investigation! Front. <laughs> the front is you, you staring at her eyes. This is a dating sim. All I need now is to be able to, you know, rubber. No, no. <laughs> that damn it, cat, quit it. Kitty likes the the drapes. The drapes. Whatever. Wait on you. Oh yeah. Whoops. God damn it. <laughs> you know, nothing, okay, so it still doesn't beat the fact that JB jump scared herself. I told you that story, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. But if those of you watching this, uh, when we're playing Soma, JB jump scares herself with her alarm. I put mine on vibrate so it's a little less invasive, we'll call it. She has a buzzer on hers, and it's pretty frilling loud. <coughs> I want my jet cars. Me. I want to be flying around and shit. Let me stand down my jet cars. I'll just take smart cars. Drive themselves. I'll sleep on the way to work. That is a weird ass to put Santa. And that's Nicholas Cage on the back. Yep. I think I mentioned that a while back. It was Nicholas Cage in the advertisement.
Investigate. See if we can find it. Napoleon. Wait a minute. You're no Santa. Uh, how'd you guess? What are you doing in that outfit? What are you talking about? That's it. Ugh. I'm quitting this job. It's too dangerous. Somebody's after me. I'm gonna end up dead, just like, like Gibson. Cash. Apparently. What about your dicks? Not over here. Not what I want. God damn it. Yes, yeah, about the wrong one. <laughs> At least you have unlimited cash and like, you know, deja vu where you can literally not finish the game if you run out of money. How oh, lovely. Find out 
next time on Snatcher.